Oh man, Dan Brown, what's good, Dan? Hey, how you doing? Uh, just got finished working. Yeah, man, it was great work, great work. Uh, you sparred Jared Anderson for the first time. What's your thoughts? Man, he's sharp. Mm. It's funny because he's a heavyweight, but his hand speed and um, just like shot placement, the way he fights, it's definitely not like other heavyweights. So it's uh, it was great work. I really appreciate it. And you fight heavyweight in the amateurs, you know, you're, I guess, a short heavyweight, so you used to sparring big guys. Like, what are some of the advantages that you have sparring big guys? Sparring big guys, um, a lot of times just speed, um, being able to get up on the shots. You know, you got to work your way to get on the inside, but a lot of times once you get there, um, you can work and they can't. Yeah. All right, so right now, what are you just in preparation at the Olympic trials? Yeah, yeah, man, getting ready. It's in December 4th. Um, we got a training camp we go do down in October, uh, October till till the uh, trials. So we getting ready for that. How you feeling about it in the nationals? You was you know one punch sending dudes to the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> you end up uh, losing a you know, controversial decision in the finals. Do you feel like that's going to propel you? Just you know not getting denied mm -hmm. is going to have you more focused for the trials. Definitely, it's just um experience, experience, all experience. It's uh, everything's real new, but I love all the uh, opportunities and experience that I've gotten so far because it just makes you a better fighter. You know, it shows you a little bit more each time. So um, definitely, definitely. You know, we didn't get it there, but we still got the trials. So we go in and uh, take the whole thing there. You get a lot of knockouts in the amateurs. That doesn't usually happen. Like, how are you setting up the shots? Um, I think like thanks. You kind of sit back, watch. You throw a feint here, you kind of see how that person reacts to a certain shot, and you just try to place it, you know, depending on how they react to it. So you have trainers that don't really have professional experience or amateur experience, you know. They, they just love boxing, so they started training fighters. You have a trainer that has over 40 fights, you know, been in there with the best, Andre Ward. Um, do you feel like that, you know, attributes to your success? Oh, most definitely. Like, the training is, is, is second to none. You know, it's just so helpful because, like, the way he, the approach he shows you, you know. Some people say I have a little bit more of a pro style, and that is because of my trainer, but it's just, uh, it's so healthy. It makes you sharper, you know. Does that fear get in the ring with you? It has, a couple times. Yeah? A couple times. Yeah, yeah. You How'd that turn out? Not too good, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I might have ate, like, a thousand jabs, but it's, it's, it's all right. <laughs> you definitely learned. All right, so if I've never seen Dan Brown fight, what can I expect? Explosiveness, uh, skill, aggression, but but definitely definitely skill, skill explosiveness.